The Department of Biomedical Engineering at Northwestern University's McCormick School of Engineering is one of the broadest, most comprehensive in the country. The department conducts cutting-edge research in areas including neural engineering, cardiovascular and pulmonary engineering, materials, cells, and tissues, and imaging and biophotonics. It's really a multidisciplinary uh, effort towards using engineering approaches and finding solutions to the most pressing medical challenges of our time. This video highlights just a few examples of the pioneering research conducted by department faculty. Dean Ho and his research team are focusing on the application of biocompatible carbon-based nanodiamonds in the delivery of therapeutic drugs to cancer patients. Nanodiamonds can carry a large amount of a given therapeutic and can target diseased cells while minimizing the adverse side effects on healthy cells. Dean Ho's team consists of undergraduates, graduate students, and postdoctoral students. The students that I work with come in with a wide variety of backgrounds. They approach uh, challenges in research with a different mindset. And once you take these unique perspectives and combine them, that's where a lot of the, the neat solutions are found. It's direct one-on-one -on -one communication with the professors that you have in class. So this is a Langmuir Blodgett trough. Uh, it's very useful for studying thin films of materials. Professor Ho, he, he's remarkable. He gives us so much respect, so much dignity. Are we still talking about changing the kinematics of the thumb? So Wendy Murray works in biomechanics to develop technologies that help restore function for victims of stroke and neuropathologies. We have to understand how muscles work, how the nervous system works, and think about physiology and anatomy, and think about how the different parts of our body work and how they cause motion. Wendy Murray's work takes place at the renowned Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago. I was very excited by the opportunity to be doing engineering and problem solving that would have clinical relevance. Our biology lab set up, so all the food for our bacteria sitting up here in the show. Guillermo Amir is a pioneer in the field of regenerative medicine, finding ways for the body to grow better blood vessels and tissues, or in the alternative, learning how to grow better vessels or tissues in the lab using innovative biomaterials. The complicated aspects comes into how do you integrate these tissues with the body, and do they have the mechanical properties or the mechanical requirements that are good enough to be used in the body. Students in the biomedical program study engineering, life sciences, and mathematics. Many students choose to complement their coursework through involvement in undergraduate research. I've had a number of undergraduate students do research in my laboratory. In fact, I've had three students uh, get their undergraduate honors thesis through research they've completed in my laboratory. My lab has always had undergraduates working here. As a matter of fact, we have several publications in peer-reviewed journals with undergraduates as co-authors. Blythe Toll is a graduate student focusing on neural engineering. The research that we do here is related to um, sensory and motor integrations. In one way, we're trying to understand how the brain solves the problem of extracting this information. The other part of the lab is using robots to sort of demonstrate the principles that we uncover. Michael Awadala, a member of McCormick's Solar Car Team, knows that biomedical engineering students have a chance to make a difference in the world. We do a lot of work with the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago. I know our biomedical engineering work uh, department does some work for uh, diagnostics in developing countries. So it's a great opportunity to take on real world problems through uh, undergrad projects. Master's degree students may pursue one of two tracks. Those who aim for positions in industry may choose the MS only track, which can be completed with or without a research project in one academic year. Those who plan to become researchers in academic, industry, or government laboratories should elect the MS-PhD track, which involves research projects, both theoretical and experimental, at the MS and PhD levels. Research takes place on the Evanston campus and on the medical school campus in downtown Chicago. Reflecting the culture of cross-disciplinary collaboration at Northwestern, the biomedical faculty has appointments in 12 departments within the schools of engineering, medicine, arts and sciences, and communication. The willingness to work openly and to cross the boundaries existing between different disciplines makes an effective engineer. Yeah.